Hello everyone. Uh, what I'm going to show you on today's clip is the third part of the successions on how to manage dimensions in draft. So we're going to go ahead and continue with angular coordinate dimensions. So by simply selecting uh, on the command and then going zoom in a little closer, select the first point which is going to be your origin and your second point is going to be basically placing your dimension. And uh, all that at this point now simply selecting your center points there, your center lines. You see that? Simply selecting those. And then you could drag them out whichever distance you want. Uh, place them out there. Um, so uh, how about if we wanted, maybe uh, didn't want that counterclockwise. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the first point which is going to delete all your dimensions and start the uh, command again. But this time I'm going to select unchecked the uh, counterclockwise option here. So I'm going to do the same thing basically. Select my origin, which is my first point, and then second point. And then from this point on, you see that instead of that being a 45, now it's 315, uh, 285. And instead of being 90, now that's 270, and so on. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is going to be corner dimensions. Uh, before I continue, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that if you want your uh, auto jog on, uh, go to your uh, styles, uh, click on the modify there, and then go to your align and coordinate tab here. And this is what you want to have checked. See where it says enable automatic jogging? Make sure that's checked in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the command, coordinate dimension, and the first one is that you know your first one is going to be your first point right there, your zero. And at that point, simply by selecting uh, center points there, you can see what it's doing there is automatically jogging those points there. Um, there. And I'm not going to select that one because that's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to simply place it right there. And same thing with this one. Simply select the bottom one right there. And uh, all right. So I'm gonna add some more. You can see at the bottom there. As soon as I add more, it's gonna start kind of push the other ones out to the side, so that uh, it adds your um, your uh, coordinate dimension there. Okay. So let's say that you forgot and you wanted to uh, add some more over here. Uh, what do you do? So what you need to do is simply go back to your coordinate dimension command here and select your first one which is your origin and then come back up here and simply place them there okay um, alright so how about if maybe you didn't want this one right here maybe you need to put it up here so what you could do is simply select that dimension hit the alt and as soon as you get that cross here simply just move it oh, let me uh, do my little bit here sorry hit the alt, get the little cross here, and simply come back here and let go. As soon as you do that, obviously you get a new value. And if you wish, you could just move it around, whichever you want. Okay. Uh, the next one is going to be automatic coordinate dimension. Um, so if I go to the command, which is going to be right here, uh, the first thing you want to do is, and I'm going to go to sheet 4 as well. Uh, what you want to do is uh, go to your uh, key points option here. And, and again, this is going to vary depending on what you have on your drawing. Uh, in this case, I only want to select uh, key points for my center uh, points of my uh, cutouts right there, or my uh, holes right here. So uh, make sure you have that, otherwise you're going to get a bunch of uh, coordinate dimensions everywhere. So the first thing I want to show you is probably be a, uh, you know, and again, this is going to vary depending on, on your complexity of your model uh, or your part here. Uh, the first option is to select the drawing. And I'm going to go simply select that and accept this. And if obviously you can see that what is done here, it went in and selected every center point of these holes right here so I need to put go ahead and select my first point my origin 
and by doing that you see what it's done that it, it's probably uh not the best you know you, you just got a bunch of uh corner dimension there just too much clutter in there so what i would recommend is if you have something similar or somewhat complex uh uh part here what i would do is use um let's see if i go back up here i will use a second second option here which is going to be uh select geometry and, and again i definitely want to make sure that i select the ones that you want so i'm going to go right about in this area here let's go right about there and you see what is done here now it's selected a couple in here not all of them and simply again this time I'm gonna go ahead and select that and you see what is done there it's much better right and obviously you continue off with the uh, the top portion of this uh, drawing here so what you do is simply uh, go ahead now uh, you know box it in here again place them and make sure you don't want to overlap on dimensions you already selected already and I'll do the same thing again and select the origin and I want to push it push a little bit out here and you can see that's a lot much better right there you know they don't got too much clutter in there it's reasonable to read and you can see they kind of go to each one of those all right uh, that would do it uh, for today's segment uh, thank you smart dimension uh, this is the Dimension. That'd be this one right here. So, uh, 